everybody. Welcome to another episode of Surgical Instrument of the Week. This week we're going to be talking about Mayo scissors. As you can see, Mayo scissors come in a curved and a straight variety. And these are heavy duty utility scissors that are used to cut through, for the curved, it would be cut through heavy tissue. And for the straight, it would be to be cutting through something like suture. It's kind of like a utility scissor. You can cut dressing, steri strips, or suture with the straight. One thing that you wanna notice is these are characteristic for having a blunted tip. So they're relatively safe to use because they can penetrate something without causing it to tear. I wanted to quickly contrast the Metzen Bomb or Met Scissor with the Curved Mayo. As you can see, these are similar scissors. The difference is, is the width. The Metzen Bomb Scissor is typically used for dissection. And if somebody asks for a dissecting scissor, you would give them the Metzen Bomb, not the Mayo. Another thing I wanted to point out is that this straight mayo is commonly referred to as a suture scissor. So if you hear somebody on the field say suture scissor, you would probably want to give them the straight mayo as opposed to the curved mayo. One way I like to remember the name of this instrument mayo is it kind of looks like a kitchen knife that you would use to spread mayonnaise on your sandwich. So if somebody in surgery, say your surgeon were to ask you for the Mayo scissor, you would really have to look and see what they were doing. If they were planning on cutting some tissue, you would hand them this one. Whereas if they were suturing, they may ask for a heavy Mayo or a suture scissor and you would tend to give them this one. You can always clarify with your doctor whether they want the straight or curved Mayo but it's really important that you're paying attention to see what is happening in the surgical procedure to kind of help guide you.